Hi everyone and welcome back to Arctic RC and TrottleStore.com uh, On the previous video we were talking about flaps and dive rudder uh, but what do we do when we don't have flaps installed on the plane? Well, there are many things that can be done and I'm going to show you one of the easiest things today uh, First of all I'm going to thank uh, XJet on YouTube for giving me uh, advices. Um, the Yak 54 uh, and the S back and every uh, acroplane, as the one you see here, uh, you need to land in sort of fast speed. Uh, the reason is if you throttle down too much, they will wing stall for you and then you break the plane on the wing. There is a, a solution for this and to get down the speed so that you can have a better landing. Uh, one of the things that I'm going to tell you about is something called flaperons. Uh, flaperons is using your ailerons as flaps. Uh, these settings can also be used together with dive rudder and I will show you on the transmitter and I'm going to show you on the plane uh, in a few minutes. Uh, Flaperons uh, I have been using on my larger plane like the Cardinal I had, the one from ARC uh, models. Um, those worked great but I did not add the diving rudder together with the flaperons which made it a bit harder to control and I had to give a lot of corrections to get it down but they worked so now we're going to try them with dive rudder okay I've been testing this uh, Yak 54 from uh, Total Store this is the prototype we have done a lot of changes on the one that's going to come on the market now in the beginning of January uh, but still she's pretty pretty fast with the settings and the engine that is on this plane and she's very hard to land for those that haven't been flying uh, this is not a beginner model but if you know how to fly you will fly her like a, a slow trainer if you like to anyway enough about the plane I'm going to show you how to set up the flaperons on this one and also together with the dive rudder we're going to make this plane land even better than before. So let's check out the plane. Okay you guys here we can see the wing on this huge EPO uh, yak. This one is about 1.8 meter wingspan and as you can see the ailerons are huge on this one, but that is to make it do uh, acrobatic uh, maneuvers even better. Okay, enough about that. Let me show you. Here you have the aileron movements on this plane. Okay, these are, uh, these are a bit slow, but this is the prototype, so I haven't changed the servos yet uh, on the original one that will be sold in uh, January uh, will have digital servos and even faster and better so uh, ailerons okay now you see I, I don't have any flaps on this plane so what can I do well I have hooked up the plane with something called flaperons on my transmitter that means that I can use my ailerons as flap as well so here is what's happening I'm pushing the flap button this is the mid and this is all the way down okay but how about the movements on the flap uh, on the ailerons when the flaperons is on well they have the same movements but they also are used as flaps. Uh, 
The thing to think about is that when you're landing the plane, you don't want to use too much ailerons anyway, so when you're using the flaperons, you will have just small corrections when you're heading in for landing. And another tip for you guys that are in the beginner phase and that don't know too much about flaps, flaperons and die brother is that do not use too much ailerons when you're in the landing field, when you're taking your plane down for landing. If your plane is off course, try to use some side rudder instead to correct it. Then the plane won't bounce too much from side to side. Can we use dive rudder on this one too? Yes, of course we can. But all the time you're testing out this, test it out in high altitude so you don't crash your plane. Okay? I will show you here on the, the my elevator. One moment please. Here you see the elevator. A bit out of focus there. Okay, there. Now I will give half the flap and full flap. So I added dive rudder together with the flapper on. So you're not lost. If you have the right equipment, you have the right transmitter and the receivers, you can do a quite a lot of mixing. Okay, so here's the transmitter. What you want to do when you're setting up a brand new model is that you will hold down the scroll button and turn the power on. Now you go down to model select, model type, model name and so on and when you're done with that you go to the wing type and before I had this on dual ailerons that means that I have two servos and two channels so I can change the setting uh, on both uh, ailerons uh, individually so and I also have dual elevator but I want to have flap on this baby so that I can have much more smooth landings I can land the plane with lower throttle then I go to something called flapperon and then you see the image of this wing changes here you have dual elevator uh, I'm sorry dual aileron and then you can see you have one aileron there and one aileron there so but I want flapperon and then you see it goes throughout all of the screen. This is the only thing that you need to do. Then you go back to the ordinary settings. You go down to flap system. Uh, when you go inside here now, the settings will it will say uh, inhibit. You just press inhibit and scroll the button and you're into the flap system and you have enabled it and I have done the same thing as I did with the Twin Otter but only I have uh, used 70% on mid and 30% dive rudder on landing this is because I'm not using uh, flaps on this one to take off because this plane will take off in just two meters so there's no use. So I'm, I have the opportunity to try to use less flaps for landing and like here more flaps for landing. And of course I set the flap speed to about five seconds to reach the full amount. So this is how it's done. I'm not sure how you do it on your transmitter if you don't have the spectrum but this is how I do it on the spectrum so Hope you guys enjoy the videos. Check out the Facebook uh, Facebook page for Arctic RC. Uh, there will be a lot of uh, contests there in the future. Uh, I'm trying to get one before Christmas. I'm not sure. And after Christmas, we will have a lot of contests. So if you press like, you will be the one to get notified if we have anything running at the Arctic RC on Facebook. So guys, see you later. Bye.